After four years of using the MX Master lineup from Logitech, I can honestly say it's the best mouse that I've ever used. Notice how I said four years with the MX lineup. Well, it's actually three years with the MX Master 2 and one year with the MX3. But wait, isn't the MX Master 3S the latest model from this mouse? Well, yes. Let me explain. Roll the intro. Before we talk about my experience and what I really like about it, let me explain the differences because you might end up buying the older version like myself. Personally, I used the MX Master 2 for 3 years. When it was time to upgrade as I dropped mine way too many times that I ended up with a permanent stuck button, the obvious choice was the MX3S, as it was the upgraded version from the MX3. There are 4 differences between them. Better sensor with a wider CPI range, new USB bolt receiver, an additional color, and finally, quieter left and right buttons. Now, the last one was a deal breaker for me. I like my mouse as loud as possible, and I'll admit, they're a little bit louder than most mouses. but I've gotten used to them, that I decided to stick with the older version, which was the MX Master 3. Everything that I'm going to discuss in this video will apply to both. So if you're in the market for either or, this will help you make up your mind. As I said, I unintentionally broke my older MX Master 2 from multiple drops. And I'm glad I did, because I hated two things about it. The outdated micro USB port for charging and the battery indicator, which got blocked by my thumb while in use. The MX Master 3 solved both problems. The Logitech MX Master 3 is a design marvel. Not only does it feel good in the hand and gives you the least fatigue out of all the mouses that I tried, but it also does it while being extremely good looking. It helps that I have a matching keyboard color to go with it, as the color choice from Logitech is a bit dull or office-like, but it wouldn't matter anyway, the color choice is in the sweet spot in my opinion. It doesn't stand out immediately, but you grow to like it over time. This is the color you're presented with when you start searching for it, but you can also pick it up in pale grey or black. The scroll wheels are unlike anything I have tried before. It has this gyroscope effect that makes the wheel scroll almost endlessly. With one flick, I can scroll through thousands of lines worth of Excel. And we all know how painful those are. And yes, I know there's a shortcut for that, but some habits are just difficult to get rid of. For more precise movement, you can just click the button above and it will switch into a regular scroll wheel with a tactile movement. I'm not sure how they do it, but it works extremely well. The other horizontal wheel was what sold me on this mouse in the first place. I initially intended to use it to handle Excel sheets at work, but I find myself use it more in editing software. The placement just above the back and forward buttons and the way it naturally finds your thumb makes it a signature Logitech product. They absolutely nailed it. Coupled with the fact that you can choose what you want to use it for, using the Logitech software makes it even better. Not only you choose what you use it as, but you can do that depending on the software you're at. As an example, I use the horizontal scroll wheel while in Excel, and the zoom in zoom out while in Google Chrome. I don't have to change anything, the software recognizes the change in your screen and does the needful. Like I said, it works extremely well, and I have not seen any other mouse that offers the same features. Battery life. Logitech claims up to 70 days of use without needing to charge. Well, not true as per my experience, but who cares? I mean, will it be a deal breaker if I told you that it only lasts about one or two months? I doubt it. The bottom line here is, Although not accurate in their claim, 
as the 70 hours is probably a best case scenario, even with heavy use, it's still extremely good that you forget about it altogether. Once every month or two, I just plug it during my break or tolerate the cable for a few hours and I forget about it for a couple more months. For me, it's a huge upgrade from the micro USB port to the USB-C port. With USB-C becoming universal, battery life feels infinite and it justifies my ever-growing collection of USB-C cables. Connection. This mouse can be connected up to three devices. It has three Bluetooth channels. It doesn't mean you can use it on three different devices at the same time, but it just means that with the click of a button, you can move from one PC to the other. I find it extremely useful to switch between work laptop and my personal PC or laptop. I struggled to understand it at first, so I will explain it quickly. You have three numbers. Each number is a channel to connect to a device. One click moves between numbers and long press will turn pairing mode on that number and make it visible to find on your PC. Each number can be paired to a different PC. With one click, I can switch from one PC to the other. The fact that my keyboard does the same exact thing makes it extremely useful. While on the subject of connection, I will quickly talk about the USB dongle if you prefer to use it. Logitech makes it easy. They provide you with a software that can help you map one dongle to multiple devices. The dongle that comes with your mouse can also be used to control your keyboard. When you have the right software installed, Logitech will recognize that you're using multiple dongles and give you the option to use multiple devices with one dongle. The dongle itself can be purchased separately if you ever lose it. And it's not programmed to work with one particular device. Well done Logitech. Logitech has some intuitive and easy to understand and use software. Besides all the customizations options that it offers, there's one option that I wish worked better. If you're not happy using the physical buttons to switch between PCs, you can use a feature called Flow. It's basically a software feature that allows you to treat two PCs as one PC with two monitors. Install the Logi Options Plus on both PCs and when you move the cursor to the edge of the screen, the software detects that and switch the connection to the other PC, making it seem like you're using two monitors. It even allows you to copy files between two PCs just like you would with a two monitor setup. It sounds great on paper and it looks fun, but, and this is my only complaint, I don't like it. I tried to like it, but couldn't. Every time I move the mouse to the left side of my screen, the software thinks that I want to switch PCs and move it to the other screen. Now, normally it's not an issue if you're using two screens and you can just move your mouse back to where you want it. But with this method, there's a lag in the switch. I would estimate it to be about two seconds, one second in each direction. This sudden switch is extremely annoying and unbearable at times, to the point where I'm careful not to move my cursor to the edge of the screen. This probably happens because the software turns a sizable area of your screen into a switch area. This in theory helps give the program more time to react as the switch takes a second or two to try and make it seem seamless. But instead of improving the experience, it ruins it unfortunately. This has been my experience with it, if you know a better way to use it, let me know. If I could recommend the device to the masses, this would be it. Other than the flow feature in the software, this mouse checks every box. It even creates more boxes that you didn't even know existed and checks them as well. Although I'm super happy with it, I can't wait to see what Logitech has in store for us in the next model. That's been it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.